What's up, guys? Are you a youngin' and your parents did not teach you how to cook? Well, I'm gonna start you off with some basic American tacos, guys. Let's get it. Alrighty, beautiful people. Guys, we're going to start our very simple tacos, our, the classic American taco for all you guys and gals who are fresh out of school and parents did not teach you how to cook yet. We're gonna do a whole line of simple recipes to get you by. Boom. All right, guys, so we got about four pounds of hamburger. You'll typically use one pound of hamburger, but I am feeding for seven, and the leftovers are gonna go for loaded nachos the next day. Now, we're gonna brown that meat, and we'll be ready. All right, now we're getting pretty close here. Obviously, you want to keep chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping to make this nice and small. Remember, guys, we are doing a, the simple, basic tacos. So easy, a fifth grader can do it. So, we're going to help this. And then I'll show you a little trick that I didn't start doing until earlier this year to get rid of all this grease. It makes it so much easier. All right, guys, we're mostly all the way cooked through. So now what we're going to do is get most of this meat pressed all up on one side obviously we have pink in there still I know and for some reason I don't know why but we, the meat starts slowing down cooking when there's a whole bunch of grease in there I have no idea why if you guys know comment below alright so now we're gonna use paper towels to get rid of this oil guys this saves you from dropping all kinds of meat into the sink or wherever you pour your grease into and guys we got the quicker picker upper right here so we should be all right and obviously don't make a mess have your trash can right next to you and let's get that fully soaked as it can and then we'll put in another batch Boom. you want to give it a little bit of tilt that helps like the majority of that get down there what you guys hear now is the oil's crying because it's disappearing so it's, it's all sad but it'll be alright you were never meant for us anyway my friend guys make sure you guys comment down below we're going to do all kinds of fine dining recipes we're going to do a whole series on uh, easy cooking to get the beginner going and Wednesdays we're going to start here within the next couple of weeks doing a dessert video every Wednesday typically I'm going to be doing Dutch style desserts because that's what I did a lot of my cooking back in my early years alright guys now we're about to mix the seasoning now for how much burger meat I put in here, I'm going to start off with about a cup of water. We'll put that in there and obviously turn down your burners to like a, a low to a simmer. So at this point now you're just keeping it warm. And today we are using the original taco. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to sprinkle this all in. Now... Typically, you guys will buy the packet that has the hard taco shells in it, which comes with its own seasoning, which typically is just enough season for one pound of meat. So I buy this because I use large amounts of meat because of a big family. And honestly, I have no idea how much to put in, guys. I just go until the color looks right, and it seems to be working. Yeah. All right, so we're using Chi Chi's soft shell tacos. Now, the simple way that you guys could probably do it, which is most likely what most people do, is you pop these bad boys on a paper plate and then you pop them in the microwave for 50 seconds or 15 seconds, the whole stack of them, and then you're good to go. But we're going to go the more tasty route. Pan ready, starting to warm up. We're going to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil. Then. We'll get some of that salt. Just a pinch, guys, because you don't need to overdo it. 
And this is just going to maximize your flavor of your classic taco. So, get all that going around. And if you do only need like three or four of these, unless you have, you know, a girlfriend, boyfriend over and you're having some tacos with them. And you do a little bit of more, but let's pop that bad boy in there. Let it heat up for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds on each side. Then you flip it. Then you got yourself a nice tasty little show. I see you getting a little bit of bubble action. Do that. You don't even need it that much, guys. Right there is perfect. It's going to add so much extra flavor. And here we have it, guys. Our finished product. Now, mind you, our family is very picky, so we don't have lettuce and tomato and all that good stuff. We do have hot sauce and stuff like that. But for the basics, this is going to be for the win.